what is up everybody I am very happy to be reviewing and showing you the uh, best possible edition of Slaughter High that is available on the market today thanks to the fine folks at Arrow Video now this is one of my favorite slasher movies of all time and it has never been given a proper release um, now it makes sense it is a UK film um, so it only makes sense that a UK um, company would put it out uh, proper. So um, maybe you, not one of many of you know, but it was a UK film that was made to look like and sound like an, an American film. Um, I've been waiting on a proper version of this for so long. Um, this was the first edition I ever had. Uh, this is a bootleg. Uh, this cover, I made it myself. Um, drew it on there and painted it. Um, because I had to have a cover. It came in like a, just a blank sleeve. Um, and this copy looks terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Dark, grainy, muddy, murky. You can, it's, it's almost unwatchable. This was before any DVD version that I knew of had come out. This was years ago. Um, and then this came out. Um, part of the Lost Collection. Uh, still doesn't look good. Uh, it's brightened up a bit, it's still grainy, it's still muddy, it's still murky, um, but it's at least watchable. Uh, and the only features on this is a trivia track, which the trivia track isn't even that good, so. And then finally, the saviors at Arrow Video brought us this edition. Now this is the second cover option, of course you know if you've watched my videos, you've seen a few of these. Um, there's another cover option, which I'm not going to actually show you the cover, I'll just show you the poster for the cover. Because um, you get a poster each time. This is the other cover you can choose from. Which is also very cool. I just, I like the, the other one because it looks like a, looks like the video, the uh, VHS. And then you get um, this nice little booklet, which is 15 pages. Um, it is a pretty nice little booklet. Um, now, for those of you who have not seen The Glory That Is Slaughter High, um, a group of high school bullies, uh, the popular kids, go and um, play some pranks on um, the school nerd. Um, two, actually. And one leaves him burned, uh, thrown acid in his face, and uh, terrible stuff. And he gets carted off into a uh, onto a stretcher and um, cut to however many years later. Um, they all have graduated college by now and um, in the workforce. Um, starts Carolyn Monroe, who plays a, uh, an actress. Um, and they all get invited back to the school for a reunion. Well, as they all show up, um, they notice some strange things. The school is um, not open. It's abandoned. It's overgrown. It doesn't look like there's been anybody in there for years. They get in. Nobody's there. They finally get to a room where the supposed reunion is supposed to happen. <clears throat> because there's some banners and some food and some booze uh, with their lockers in there. Their old lockers have been carted up there for some reason. But they're the only ones invited. And yes, of course they stay. Of course they're going to stay. There's booze. They have to drink it. There's food. They have to eat it. They've, they're the only ones that's been invited to a reunion at, at, at their abandoned high school. Well, what's weird about that? Of course we're going to stay. We got booze to drink. I know, it sounds pretty ridiculous, but know that if you haven't seen it, you don't know what I'm talking about, by the end it will all make sense. Um, and of course, once they get there and, you know, start looking through their lockers and whatnot, and they just hang out for a little bit, all people start disappearing and dying. It's a slasher film. It's gotta happen. So, um... I love the film. It's it's ridiculous. Um, it's funny. Um, it's got some really interesting kills in it. Um, 
it's just great, and one of my favorites of all time. <coughs> and thank God to Arrow, because they finally made this film look decent for once. Um, it, 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 it looks great. It's um, not dark anymore. Um, the grain is almost all gone. It looks fantastic. Um, if you compare it to what it has looked in the past, how it's looked in the past, it looks amazing. Um, there is still a, a sort of murkiness to it, but that's just, in my opinion, it's probably the fact that the film is just never going to look 100%. So, this is the best you're going to get. And it looks pretty good, so props to you guys that are um <clears throat> and it's a slaughter high dvd with features oh my god the skies are gonna open up and it's fucking apocalypse um well you have a two commentaries uh, i only listened to one but um the first one is a commentary with um Co-director, co-writer, uh, Mark Ezra, uh, and it's moderated by Teenage Wasteland author J.A. Kurzweil. Um, number two is the one I listened to. Um, it is with Caroline Monroe, DVD World editor, editor Alan Bryce, and author and critic Callum Waddell, who also normally, um, if it's a High Rising Productions feature right on the disc, he has been the main man behind it. Uh, he directs all those. If it's a high-rising production feature, right? and you'll know um, when it is. Um, and there's two of those on here. Uh, you have an interview with uh, co-writer, co-director Mark Ezra, and a sort of a career-spanning interview with Caroline Monroe, which both are great. I really like the Caroline Monroe one. Um, she kind of talks about a lot of stuff throughout her career. Um, in, in, throughout her career as a, as a, in her horror films, um, and sort of the same thing with the commentary, um, the commentary is not so much slaughter high focused, um, it's more focused on her and her career, um, but there's a lot of interesting stuff, um, she talks about Joe Spinell from Maniac, um, talks about Dick Randall, the famous, um, exploitation distributor, um, he was also involved in pieces, um, so it's not quite geared, uh, towards, towards Slaughter High as much, but it's still very interesting, there are some points where, uh, Callum tries to kind of get him, not necessarily get him back on track, but he, you know, there's a few scenes that he really likes and he wants to talk about them, so it's not all just about Caroline, there is some Slaughter High stuff, but it's mostly about, uh, they mostly talk about her career and, 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 uh, people she's worked with and stuff like that. It's still very, very good and interesting uh, commentary, fun to listen to. Um, I haven't listened to the other one yet. Sue me. I don't get paid for this. I do this out of the goodness of my heart. Uh, I do it because I'm bored. And I like talking about movies. So. Um, so I didn't listen to the other one, but that one is probably a little bit more um, slaughter high focused. So... So, Arrow Videos, Slaughter High, A+, plus. film looks great, film sounds great, uh, great special features, props to the guys at uh, High Rising Productions, you've done it yet again, some of the best special features out there are from these guys, um, and Callum, uh, oh, and Callum, if you happen to see this, um, and you ever are at Wasteland again, I'm holding you to that beer, buddy, so, yeah, um, anyway, Arrow does it yet again, another stellar release, and thank God we finally have Slaughter High on a version that, um, is worth having, so, see you guys next time.